Hey everyone, so today Hi. I'm excited to share with you three crock pot Hi. recipes. Hi, this is my little kitchen helper. You say hi. So like I said, we are gonna be sharing with you three crock pot recipes. Today's, yes, it's ready. Okay, I'll get it. Today's um, video is also part of a collaboration with Erica Lucas. So be sure to check out her channel and the playlist in the description box below. I know that there, you know, there's gonna be a lot of crock pot recipes that are gonna be shared here, and this could kind of be like our go-to throughout the winter. Um, so hopefully we get a lot of good ideas. I'm looking forward to seeing what these other ladies make too, because I'm always looking for new recipes. She's putting a spoon in my shirt, you know? So anyways, <laughs> so like I said, be sure to check that out. So the recipes that I, I'm gonna share with you is, the first one is gonna be my go-to pot roast. I make this several and times, oh, I say several times, I probably make this two times a month. I find that it's just, you know, it's quick and easy and it's a hearty meal that fills up my crew rather well. So my second recipe that I'm gonna share with you is a chicken, white chicken chili. I have not made this in years and years and this collab inspired me to make it again. Um, and we actually had that last night. Um, you'll see it in a minute. And most of my crew loved it except for my oldest daughter. So that's gonna be a win for me. My oldest daughter's really picky. And then the third recipe that I'm gonna share with you is a chicken tortilla soup. Now this one is new to me. I like chicken tortilla soup, so does my husband, so I'm hoping that we like this and then I can add this to my meal plan. Okay, so today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite pot roast recipe that we have this um, probably twice a month. It is just something that I can throw in the crock pot and I don't have to worry about it. I do this a lot on our busy days or if we have a field trip and then I know that I have dinner ready for me when we get home. Okay, so. I have a two pound pot roast here. It's a sirloin tip roast. And I'm going to use beef bouillon, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of soy sauce, and a whole lot of garlic. Okay, so I have my pot roast in there. I'm going to add a cup of water. Uh, maybe I'll do a half a cup. That looks like a lot of water. So I have found that adding the beef bouillon helps give it just some extra flavor. Um, I used to not do that and I just like it better this way. And I can't open this jar. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So I got this for the first time um, and so far it's okay. It's a little different than what I'm used to, but the ingredients are better than the beef bouillon cube. So I'm just going to toss some of that down the side. And then I'm going to add just a heaping tablespoon of brown sugar down the side as well. And then some soy sauce. I don't measure. That's probably good. And then a heaping. Well, I couldn't get heaping, so I'll get some more <laughs> um, garlic. There we go. So now I like to just leave the garlic all on top and then I kind of mix everything around the pot roast. And then this just needs to cook on low for eight hours and it will fall apart and be super delicious. That's it. So now I'll set my, I actually will put it on 10 hours, but I'll check it. You know, throughout the day. Because slow and long is what you want with a pot roast. Okay, so today is going to be crock pot recipe number two that I'm going to share with you today. Today I'm going to make white chicken chili. So we actually have a really cold and dreary day today here in Florida. We're not used to too many days like this, so I thought it would be a perfect day to make something like this. We also are working on a big project, so it'll be nice to have dinner done. So, I'm gonna show you the ingredients and then you just toss it all in the crock pot. Okay, so I have my cute little helper here. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> okay, so here are all the ingredients. Like I said, it is, you know, super simple. I already have my chicken breast in there. You need four cups of chicken broth. Um, it calls for two cans of Great Northern beans, but I am adding three to stretch just a little bit for our family. I considered adding four, but I'm going to see what it looks like after I put three cans of beans in there. So rinsed and drained, then two cans of green chili, and then I have in here two teaspoons of cumin, 
some onion powder and salt at the recipe actually called for chopped onion but my kids don't like that so i'm doing onion powder instead and garlic all right here harper can you dump this in the crock pot two hands oh <laughs> she's more interested in coloring she said she wanted to help all right do you want to dump the green chilies in yeah all right two hands set your pin down all right there we go you got to keep dumping oh oh yes yes lovely okay good job did it get on you? Yeah, gummy. It got on you? Yeah. All right, do you want to dump this one? Yeah. Okay, go slow. Did you get it all? Yeah. Good job. Okay, now we're going to dump in all the beans. And then I'm going to get a good sized scoop of garlic. That wasn't good enough. There we go. And then I'm gonna add all this chicken broth. And then that's it. Does this look yummy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here is the chicken chili all done. So I pulled out the chicken breast and then I shred it and then I just put it all back in there. And then I like to serve it with cornbread. Say hi. Yay. hi. I do not want rice. <laughs> and then my husband likes to have rice with it, so I always make rice. And um, then I like to put Fritos and Cheetos and sour cream in mine. Okay, I'm taking this humongous one. <laughs> so for my third crock pot um, recipe, I'm going to make chicken, I always want to say tortellini, <laughs> chicken tortilla soup. So my best friend actually just gave me this recipe. And I was like, man, I don't think my kids will like it, but it sounds good. So I was like, you know, what? I'm just going to make it anyways. And hopefully the kids like it. If not, you know, I'll come up with something else for them. So anyways, I know that my husband and I will like it. So worst case, my husband and I will be eating this for lunch every day this week. <laughs> so I'm going to show you that recipe now. Okay, so for today's crock pot recipe, I'm making chicken tortilla soup. And I <laughs> the kids are eating eggs over there. That's what Reagan just said. So I've got my chicken breast in the crock pot already. So here's all the ingredients. You need one ranch packet, um, some garlic, taco seasoning. I make my um, taco seasoning myself. And then Rotel. And here I have two cans of black beans and one can of corn. I thought that I had two. Okay, hang on, baby. I thought I had two cans of corn. I don't know where it went. So I'm just going with it. Yes, baby. Okay, hang on. Baby, can you help her? What does she want? More eggs. And then two cups of chicken broth. So actually, I am doubling the vegetables, the um, rotel and the beans. I was supposed to double the corn, but yeah. Um, but not the chicken. This is kind of like a step that I do to make things stretch farther. I don't double the meat, but I'll double the veggies. So, so you put all that in the crock pot. Okay, so I'm going to add the seasonings first. I'm going to do a heaping. It says for a pack of um, taco seasoning, I'm going to add a tablespoon. And then some garlic. Right, you go okay. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to put in... I did not double the ranch seasoning because... Red not exactly sure. I haven't made this uh, before. I'm not 100% sure that people are going to like it. I'm sure that I will, but, you know, I have to make people happy too. So, so add in the red cell. And then all the beans and corn. Okay, and then after this cooks, you're supposed to add... A half a block of cream cheese. So let all this simmer. I might add a little bit more chicken stock to it too. Uh, where's my lid? There it is. We'll see you in about eight hours. Okay, so here is the soup all done. Um, I actually did come back in and add a little bit more chicken stock because it was kind of thick and I added the cream cheese. Um, so that's it. 
Okay, so we also made tater tot casserole because I had the ground beef already cooked in the fridge for a quick meal one day this week. I did this with my foot. Yes, you did. Okay. And I knew that my oldest daughter wasn't going to eat um, this soup, so I decided to just make this, and then we'll have lunches ready for this week. Um, well, one day this week, so... Okay, anyway, so everybody who has tried the soup so far has liked it. My oldest daughter, she's not going to try it. She's picky. Anyways, um, my second oldest daughter hasn't tried it yet. I don't know if she's going to or not. She just said no. Anyways, but everybody else has tried it and liked it. So um, we'll just have options for one day for lunch this week. Someone can choose, you know, the leftover soup and the leftover tater tot, yeah, tater tot casserole. Anyway, so... Hope that you all enjoyed this collab. Be sure to check out the other um, channels in the playlist. I, I don't know exactly how many channels are participating, but it's a few, and I know that, you know, it'll give us, <laughs> kids throwing something at me in the window. Anyways, it'll give us some great ideas for, you know, some new meals that, that I'm excited to find out and try myself. So anyways, I hope that you all have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye. So, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I closed it, but I'm back, because I just had to share this with y'all. So I'm cleaning up from dinner, and guess what? Crock pot broken. I don't even know how it happened. I was just washing it, and there was a huge crack. So I guess we'll be trying those new crock pot recipes this week. It's like, oh, I guess that's what I'll ask for for Christmas. If I was a good girl, maybe I'll get one. <laughs> okay, anyway, so again, I hope that you all enjoy the new recipes. Let me know if they're good so that I can write them down and do them whenever I get a new crock pot. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day.